about a rabbit. Hey guys, this is Tabitha with Cimarron Homestead, and today we are going to be She's preparing her daughter. Hi. <laughs> and we are going to be preparing for very cold weather. Cold. I am super cold, even when I'm super bundled up. I was really hot in the house. We are going to be bringing our rabbits in the house because we don't currently have a better solution. That's something that we're hoping to remedy in the spring but we are um going to just see how many tubs we have so that we can bring them in the house so that's kind of what we're doing right now and i'll show you our setup once we have them all set up in it later today I'm not gonna lie, having all 10 rabbits in the house is a huge chore. Um, I am actually holding the 10th rabbit while my brother <laughs> finishes the last cage. Um, I recorded myself doing most of them, um, but I'll just be honest, there towards the end, I just wanted to get it over with. <laughs> because it is so cold out there that my towel was freezing in between tubs, in between cages. So, I'm sitting here holding our oldest rabbit, Daddy Boings. I'll see if he'll let me hold him up. He's kind of skittish. Say hi, Daddy. And he's really mellow right now. I don't know what's up with that. It's okay. He's being very good, very calm but I am sitting here holding him while uh, my brother cleans out his cage. Everybody else has fresh bedding, fresh hay, fresh pellets and oats, fresh, well, they don't all have fresh water yet because I'm doing that as soon as everybody is done. But yeah, I fell on the ice. I didn't catch it on video though. Sorry, I know that would have been really entertaining for you guys. <laughs> so I look like a mess. I feel like a mess too. I'm, f I'm, I'm finally starting to feel my face again. So that is where we're at. And when he gets back in with the cage, I'll show you their setup so you can kind of see what we're do what we're working with. I have two different tubs. I have one that's a 27 gallon tub and they only had, I only have four of those. And then the other ones I have are a different kind, they're 30 gallon. And I put my bigger rabbits in those. I put the smaller, like the younger rabbits in the 27 gallon. And then I put all of my bigger rabbits in the 30 gallon. It just happened to work out that way. It was really lucky because I had four babies or I say babies, they're not really babies anymore, but I had four littler ones and then four full grown ones. I mean, six full grown ones. So it worked out. He is so soft. I think he might be my favorite rabbit. But anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my bunny snuggles while I warm up and I will show you their setups here in just a little bit.
and I'm about to go check on the chickens. We've been in the negative temperatures and we are currently hovering between four and 10 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So I am going to walk over and check the chickens and make sure the water is still working properly since we have that fish tank heater in there. working oh good so the water is working because our chicken water is a 12 gallon water we initially tried a fish tank heater for up to 15 gallons unfortunately because we have had such cold weather it just wasn't quite strong enough this heater however for a 30 to 60 gallon fish tank has kept the water from freezing and prevented the water nipples from freezing even though we have had several days of single digit and even negative temps at night Everybody's hunkered down there today. They look nice and cozy in there. Hopefully that's not where they're laying their eggs. Because I didn't see any eggs at the top. Yeah, there's no eggs up here. I'm very curious if they're laying their eggs down here where they put all of their bedding. I had all the bedding up here and they've knocked it down. Little stinkers. And this, I, guess I don't know the name. Good. I don't remember the name, but this is a rabbit. Um, I think this oh, is a boy. rabbit. Yeah, this is Teddy. Okay. Teddy's so cute. And now we're going to show you Daddy And we Boone. also have what named this Yeti. Is Daddy Boone. And it's a white button. I can't open it. There's a <laughs> Hey, he guy like, boys. He, he likes us petting him, but he does not like, like us picking it up. He's like, don't pick me up. <laughs> and, and, and here. This one is, um. Betty? Betty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tell, because some of them look similar, right? Yeah. And yeah, Teddy over there, which is her twin. Lucy. Yeah, I Yep, you're right. That's Lucy. This is Lucy. Like, I love Lucy. And the bedding is straw instead of hay now. Yep. And sometimes because we just got them. tired of and the hay, so we swapped some. into some straw. Yeah. Yeah, we still feed them hay though. Yeah. But the bedding is straw. This <laughs> we're gonna show you all this. Um, no, is it Margo? No, this is Zoe. Okay, and this is Zoe. And, um, Lucy and Zoe are kind of twins. They yeah. look yeah. similar. They're sisters. Yeah, apparently. Wait, <laughs> they're sisters? Yep. Ta-da! Who's this again? <clears throat> this is Yeti. Okay, Yeti's this so is cute. Yeti. Yeti. Yep. The this wise. is what Yeti. all you've been waiting for. The only Yeti. Hey, okay, Ellie, why don't you Yeti. dump the stuff out of his water bowl and give sure. him some fresh water real quick. Sure. I'll go and get him some water now. Look out, Yeti. Okay, there's some right over there. Okay. I'll make Just sure minute, he does not get out. Oh. 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 
Drop the lid. So on the lid, turn it over now so that they can see. Don't hit your sister though. That's good. Just a little more. Okay. So I just so you can see, um, what we did is we cut some wire. We cut the of inside of the tote lid out and then we took some chicken wire and we just drilled holes and zip tied it to the plastic and now um, we can and we can open um, these are 27 um, gallon totes that we did this with and, we and zip then tied this and we had made these lids the uh, a while back to use to we transport our animals then zip tied it to this yeah, the we plastic. did. So th these 30 gallon totes are what we just made for this ice storm. So that's why we used this mesh instead of the chicken wire is because that's just what we had on hand and we even had it already in the house. So we used that instead. <clears throat> and for all of the rabbits, except for Sylvester, cause he's our ornery one apparently. This has and worked this really well. this is the rabbit war, I'll use some. Yeah. So this has worked really well for all the rabbits and the mamas seem to really like it because they seem to feel safer because it kind of makes it den-like in there. Hey, Noah, why don't you give Zoe some water? That's where it's water. Look. Yeah. Zoe needs some water and I bet. Okay, remember. Oh, oh no. Careful. It's spilled everywhere. Yeah. Like volcano. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to press the thumbs up button and hit me in notification bell. And smash the like button. In case if you forgot, do it. <laughs> and what about the subscribe button? And press it. Please pop it. Pow, 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 pow. pow, pow. <laughs> We hope you like this video. Oh. And peace out.